Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're going to begin a, a fairly long series with my friends B and Chet. Say hi everyone. Hi. Um, hi everyone. And uh, they have built this really amazing home out of a cargo trailer. And today we're going to see the finished product um, and just go over it really quickly just so you have an idea of what it looks like. And then in the coming videos, it'll be a series, I think four or five at least we shot. Uh, you'll see the build from empty to uh, almost finished to this is the finished product with them living in it. Not quite, you're not, not quite done. You're still working on the solar today. Yes. And now, and we'll get that up soon. Yeah. And so uh, I think it's, it, it, they have so many really great creative ideas. I, I really wanted to share them with you. Uh, just give us uh, an overview of the trailer. Tell us about the trailer you bought. Okay. Um, this a few months ago, uh, we bought a 2000. It's new. It's a 2016, and it's a feather light, 24 feet, and it's a car hauler. A Not car a cargo hauler, hauler a car car, car hauler. hauler, eight feet wide, 24 feet long, and uh, our idea was that we were going to travel the country and see the national parks, and we were going to live in this full time. Our, uh, our home base is in Florida, but we're gonna live this full time. And so we wanted to uh, convert this to something that was, uh, for me, lovely, but yet comfortable and felt like home and had all the functions of home and keep it light as far as the weight and uh, not spend any more money than we had to. So we had a number of goals on how we were gonna do it. And uh, we just drew things on paper and uh, walk through every issue we came up with. Uh, we had challenges, but it was fun. Yes, yeah. had room for two. So you have to have more, a little bit more space. Yeah, yeah. And why not an RV? I've had RVs, I've had Class A's, Class C's, uh, Casita, uh, just all kinds of things uh, as far as the RV family goes. And um, you know, they have their positives, but for us, uh, uh, we have a, a building background, and after a while, I just felt they were too flimsy uh, to live in. I did not like the rubber roofs. I, I, I want my roof not to leak. So uh, we constantly were fixing things and did not feel uh, for the money that it was safe enough and uh, waterproof enough. And so I wanted, I wanted a battleship to live in, you know, <laughs> yeah. basically. And so by looking at the videos, especially your Bo yours, Bob, we, we just said, you know, for two people, the van was a little small, but then we thought two vans would be great, you know, and travel around in two vans. Uh, but we already had a, a, a relatively new truck. So we said uh, probably a, a cargo trailer would be okay. These feather lights are exceptionally well made. Yes. This one is all aluminum. And I, and I understand it's a one piece aluminum roof. Yes. yes. One solid piece, no riveting. And it's 90, 95% uh, uh, aluminum with a steel frame just around the axles. Probably we're towing about 5,000 pounds. You're always conscious about what's behind you, how it handles on the road. The lighter it is, the better you know you yeah. have traction and stuff. So right, you'll get better gas mileage. Yes. with a very light yeah. trailer. I think we're getting tw uh, twelve 13, or thirteen. About thirteen miles to the gallon, uh, coming from Florida, yeah. leaving uh, Irma behind and getting up here. So yeah. it's good. So good. yeah, for towing uh, towing your home. Yes, that's astonishing. Yeah, yeah. we're we're happy with that. Oh yeah, definitely. yeah, handled well, and we've done everything to keep it as stealth as possible. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, there's really no evidence that this is a, um, a home inside here. Now remember folks, we're not gonna go into a lot of detail because right. we're, we have individual videos that explain all of this stuff uh, that you can watch in the future. Today we're just looking for the overview of what they did so you can visualize it when we do talk about the details. So I think it'll make it work a lot better for you. So why don't we take a look around? All right. I'm really looking forward to this. So, uh, we have gone 18 inches in from the back uh, ramp. The ramp goes up and down. We've gone 18 inches in uh, because there's a beaver tail on the back of this. And that just means that the floor is slanted down. So we went 18 inches in to give us a, a little tiny of what we call garage. So that when we fold this up, I can put my chairs and my grill and all that. Well, when we did that, we, we built a wall. This is an interior wall. 
and it has a window in it um, and everything is done as you know maintenance free as we could and an RV door and then we just put a camouflage exterior uh, on it um, and we have a shower here and a fantastic fan and a hot water heater uh, and we use this out here to cook on our propane grill and have our coffee out here in the morning okay and so this is your uh, porch essentially it's our little deck yes there's the propane bottle cook out so here it's outside because yep. uh, while the door closes so it's secured yeah but all, it's essentially outside yeah well it all fits in this little avenue right here mm -hmm. this is a uh, echo temp we do a lot of research and everything uh, oxygenics to increase the um, pressure of your water hot water heater this provides me hot water into my sink and also for a shower this shower is a pull down shower it's on a hinge so when we're ready to leave I just simply take the bungee off this drops down thank to my my brother he helped us with these made these all little custom things here with a hinge so it just simply drops down and when I get to where I'm going I bring it back up hook it up pull my shower around and there's my shower and I have a nice shower in here and when I'm done grab my towel go directly into the house because this is angled all the water sheds off that way naturally all the plumbing is done through this false wall here so there are no uh, puncturing into the outside skin of the trailer we called fantastic fan mm -hmm. and found that we can mount fantastic fan vertically so we did that and of course it, it will allow for the airflow through the house so you'll see in the other videos later on that this this when we started was one big silver box yep there wasn't anything in here it even has an extruded aluminum floor so everything was aluminum ceiling aluminum floors and what we did like i said the details will be in the other videos that i hope you'll watch but it has wood walls and insulation and the ceiling has two inches of insulation the first area that we made in here is our little sitting area very comfortable all it is is just a couple of rockers outdoor rockers and, oh uh-huh folding yep, rockers folding rockers and then I cut up a um, an old um, what do you call them the comforter and put them over the chairs and it's made us you know a very nice comfortable little sitting area because I only had four and a half feet so I had to find something that would work right uh, cabinets are IKEA cabinets we've done LED lights little the little strip lights I use uh, Verizon unlimited data to tether with an HDMI cord to the TV so uh, when I you know we just tether it up and the next thing you know you've got you know TV Netflix whatever you want to watch at night this is a little shelf up here with um, uh, plastic trim it's a plastic composite so it's not a wood trim which could be a little expensive and heavy but this was uh, reasonably priced but kind of dresses it up a little bit uh the ceilings are seven six and then we use these shoe boxes from ikea for our shoes and for you know paper towels extra paper towels these are extremely light they stack and they just screw to the wall extremely light and you get three of them for thirty dollars this is uh, i think a very spacious kitchen for a lot of rvs they don't have much counter space they don't much have uh, much of a kitchen and this is only 24 feet long so to get this size kitchen I really was happy with this this is a just a simple counter that you can get from like Lowe's or Home Depot um, and little rail system for you know different little details to you know hold your stuff uh, women always ask me about these these are my magnetic um, uh, spices I always mm -hmm. get that RV sink I ordered this online just a plastic sink nothing really too spectacular um, we have a two fresh water tanks under here and a pump underneath the sink and again more storage so I'm able to run my induction cooker here I usually probably do propane um, so we do all our cooking on this the only question I get from some people is like why don't you have an oven um, I used to bake 
tremendously. But now at I've thought kind of like, I'm going to go to Panera's and just get a cupcake or something, you know. I'm, I'm kind of over, but I may get the solar oven. I've seen some videos on the solar oven. I love my kitchen. It's very light and spacious and beautiful at night with these lights. You can change the lights to pink or yellow or purple. Uh, so it's, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. On the floor, uh, a lot of people ask me about the floor. This is that simple puzzle floor that you buy at Lowe's. You just put them together and... Um, if I were to pull one up, you're going to see just a, a aluminum floor. And that aluminum floor can be very, very cold. It has a little give to it. And if I damage one, I can always take it up and put another piece down. Right. Then we ended up getting the angle refrigerators. And uh, compared to um, your chest type that uh, we were going to get, you would have to pull that out and in. Uh, we were going to actually have a pull-out tray. We decided against it. The, um, the, I think this is called the counter uh, model or something, but if you get this model, it's not that much more expensive than the, the bigger model of the chest. These were $700. Okay. For an angle, that's quite exp quite reasonable. For, yeah, it was reasonable, and they're 65 quart. That's very, that's a good deal. Yeah, they're very deep, and they keep everything beautifully cold, and I don't know how they did it, but they actually have a little freezer thing that actually freezes ice, but it, the rest of the refrigerator doesn't freeze the food. I, I'm not quite sure how they did that, but it draws very little amperage. Then in this area here, I'd plan to put a, a possible future window, and uh, we're not sure because this situation we have with this window, and, and Bob, if you pan back, that's a very sunny light. A lot brings a lot of yes. air, a lot of light into the house. Uh, so, so far we're happy with that. We're not sure if we're going to cut into the rig to put a window in. But if we do, I've made a spot for it. Uh, back in, in this area is my uh, where my solar panel items are, it, our tech cabinet, if you want to call it that. This is a Berkey. Uh, you put basically almost any kind of water in here, and when it comes out, it's pretty pure drinking water. And back in here in the bedroom, I made a, uh, this is um, just a felt curtain, and then what it does, is if I ever can use my air conditioner in a uh, situation where I have city power, which is right now, um, I can close this curtain and that, that bedroom can be icy cold. Even with, it's only a 5,000 BTU air conditioner. It can be icy cold in there. So we made the bedroom back here. This is in the nose of the trailer. And it's a, um, it's a queen size bed, uh, nice spacious bedroom. Um, I had a fifth wheel, wasn't the, the bedroom wasn't this big. Really, really nice. Got the little lights at night. It's very cozy. I sit in here, I do my writing and reading and have coffee in the morning. We have these little boat holders over here, a little touch that someone might want to do. You just have these little boat, put your cup in there, your water. You don't need a big nightstand. Just have your water here, maybe a little clock or something up in here, some reading. Um, it will keep your space narrow, but it's functional, and it gives you, you know, enough room where you can get into the bed. Right. We did. You can get around and make the bed very oh, easily. Oh, easily. And then, of course, under the bed, it's tremendous storage. Right. Uh, we took, uh, let's see, one, two, six coffee tables, uh, side tables, little side tables, and we took electrical ties and strapped them all together, and that's the base of the bed, and that allowed me all the, under those legs to put all kinds of storage on here. And that's where we have our hanging dress clothes. That's our closet. Mm -hmm. You don't really need a closet. No. If you do it creatively. Right. Um, more shoe boxes for some linens. And these for, you know, just, I got some purging to do, Bob. No, we all do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I've got my reading and writing in here. And um, I sit here, Chet and I sit here and have coffee in the morning and plan our day. And then we open up the door. So you have this really nice to sit here and have this from your bedroom. Who has that? Yeah, right. right. So we have two escape routes. We can go out if there's any uh, problems, fire, whatever. We can go out that door or out this door. So we have two full-size doors. Ventilation, as soon as I open this, did you feel that? Oh man, amazing. Yeah. Because you've got the other end open, and any, there's a slight breeze today. And I don't have one fan on yet. Yeah. yeah. If you open turn some fans on... It just... Whoosh, 
It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It has a little uh, toilet area in here. And uh, we have a cassette toilet. Um, all the toiletries and more hanging clothes. And uh, it has a draw. It has a false floor. So it has a lot of deep storage underneath that we built. So just, underneath here. The, yeah, we just raised it. It's on a hinge. These it's are a, hinged. The this floor is hinged. hinged. This, this part comes up. The other part comes up. There's just deep storage. Then this, if I want air conditioner, I just throw this in the back like this. Okay. And next thing I know, you know, I've got the air. You know, the air is on right now. Yep. I'm not going to keep it on because of the video. Right. But yeah, it's all strapped in. We came up to Florida, didn't have one problem. And uh, it's just one of those rolling portable air conditioners. Yeah, just uh, cheap. Yeah, not real expensive. You don't have to put a hole in the rig or anything. No. Yep. You say you have it vented. It's uh, one that it's does... It's vented through the floor. Mm -hmm. There's a hole there. It is Which vented is through the floor. Makes them far superior. Right. They work much better they have when be they're vented. vented. Right. And just lots of nice storage in here. Nice boat fan, 12 volt boat fan here. Yeah. You can get and pick them. We found that at uh, West Marine. West Marine has a lot of really creative, good things. If you want to have a little ventilation, it doesn't mean you have to have fans on the floor. We tried to keep things up off the floor. That will give you a feeling of spaciousness. If you keep your surfaces not cluttered and your floor not cluttered, because we have a lot of storage in these shoe boxes. Yeah. A lot. They're inconspicuous, but a lot of storage. And I got to be honest. When I first saw the shoe boxes, I thought, eh, I don't yeah. know about that, but. Yeah. Man, you've got an amazing amount of stuff in yes, your shoe Yes, winter storage, Chet's stuff by his bed, his glasses, his reading. And they don't open up when you travel, when you move around. It kind of surprises They've me. They've got a counterbalance to them because they're shoe boxes. Yeah, so this is this is our home. And um, the cost, there's, you know, we have, you know, we have uh, moved many times in our life. So uh, this has to be the most inexpensive home we've built. And you own it outright. I'm. Yep. You can. A yep. person can if oh, they have a little money. Exactly. And right. have it solid where you're not going to have leaks and you can move it. When Hurricane Irma came, everybody was so upset in Florida about their homes. And I looked at Chet and said, let's go. And we just picked up our home and left. I really have to give a shout out to my family because they've been very supportive. Um, my brother said something to me the other day. He said, you know, uh, you're the only one of the kids at this point that did one thing that our father wanted. My father, I didn't know, wanted to go out and see the world. He wanted to go out and see the United States. And his kids just haven't had a chance to do that. So he said, you're going to be the one that can go out because your home can go with you and you can do it now. So they've been very supportive. Uh, like I said, they've let us uh, finish our build here. Uh, offered all kinds of uh, help if we needed it. Um, just very loving and supportive. And I want to I want to thank them on film for that. So we're looking forward to join the uh, Nomad, you know, community, and um, help where we can, and be be good members. Good, good, good. Well, B, thank you so much for sharing your home with us and your build. Everyone, stay tuned. There'll be a series of building of uh, videos coming out where we see go inside from an empty shell to framed in walls and every step of the way. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed this and the future series that is coming out soon. Uh, if you do, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and remember there is a way out for you. <laughs> and B can be your inspiration. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so we'll talk to you later.